Okay, from the kitchen to the closet in today's Style File, it's time to tackle your husband's side of the space. Style editor Daylin Dove is here to help clean it out and maybe even spruce it up. And I'm, I'm somewhat hesitant only because this can be a kind of tricky topic. It can be. I think you don't want to come in and say you're taking over, right? Like, <laughs> he has some respect in his side of the closet, so I say my biggest tip is make it fun. It's a, it's going to be an activity. Get some treats, you know, okay. like his favorite candy. Turn on your favorite show or a <laughs> podcast and make it like an activity. Maybe football. Maybe football. Maybe some sort of wings. I mean, not wings, you're gonna get it all over the clothes. I'm just saying, if we're gonna make it his party. No chocolate. Okay, get him involved though as best you can, yes, right? absolutely, make it so it's part of his choice too. Okay, all right, then you say, you know, as with any good organization project, we wanna start with a clean slate, so we are taking it all out. Clean slate, don't let him cut corners on this because he's may try and like <laughs> hide that sweatshirt that's got the big old stain on front. Get everything out of the closet, wipe it down, so there's no finger or anything like that, you just, you wipe it all down, you get it all out in one space so that when you're going to sort, everything is out in the open. And how do you decide what to keep and what to toss? This is hard enough for me to do on my side of the I closet. Know, I, I, I might be a little more ruthless on Mark's side. That's why it's a two person job. Okay. Cause then it brings a little bit more of the heartfelt side into it. So I say you do a keep pile, a okay. trash, donate and save. Right off the bat, I think you should start with save. Let him keep the sentimental things. Let him keep his Letterman jacket. Let him keep that concert t-shirt that you may not love. I say if you have room, just get a dry storage tote. Give him one tote. Say, you can fill this with your most <laughs> sentimental <laughs> things, but then cut it off of that. But give him the chance. Maybe he loves I it. I hope these rules work. I know. No. I hope they do. You never know. All right, and how, once we've decided what we're saving, yes. um, how are we organizing it back into the space? Once you go back into the space, I want you to think about category and color. Okay. So you want to keep everything organized by color, you know, lights to darks if you'd like to do it that way. But keep in mind like you want your suits to go together, you want your sweaters to go together, uh -huh. t-shirts together, and then jeans. So you want them all in not only organized by color, but by category so it makes it really easy. And then just like tell them why maybe it's really great to have it this way. It yeah. makes it easy to find. It makes, you know, putting away things really easy. Sell them. Sell them on it so he feels like he can continue to do it as well. I, I will say, and I may have shared this before, but when we moved into the house that we live in now, now, my sister Lindsay, we're, you know, all hands on deck, we're all unpacking. Yes. Lindsay somehow was brave enough to take it upon herself to tackle Mark's side of the closet, went full Oprah on him, like color coded, do you know what I mean? Yes, like the whole Roy deal. G. Biv. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. and he secretly, he would never say this. And if, if you see him in the street, don't poke him about it. He loves it. Yeah. Like he loves it. Yeah. Like I know that that color coding makes a difference to his brain. I know it. I know it does. I don't too. Yes. <laughs> but I will say one thing make sure that whatever the trash pile, stains, yeah. anything with stains, anything that is has holes, throw it away. Or from this decade, let it go. <laughs> let it go. Her finger's out, she <laughs> means business. Okay, the closet is clean, now it's time to upgrade ever so slightly. Still to come, Daylin shares five swaps to level up your husband's wardrobe. That's next on Studio 5. All right, welcome back to Studio 5. Before the break, we helped clean out your husband's closet. We helped you help him clean out the closet. <laughs> now it's time to take it up a level. Style editor Daylin Dove is our coach today, and she says it's as simple as a few swaps. So what makes a swap maybe more doable than a replacement? I think replacement sounds scary. <laughs> maybe not even for us, but just for your husband. We're not committing. A swap is more, he's, it's the same type of clothing, yeah. but you're leveling it up so it's the same wearability, it's the same outfits he can put with it. It's just a little bit of an upgrade so that you're polishing a little bit yeah. without feeling intimidating. So it's gentle. It's, it's kid gentle. gloves today. Yes. We know this is, yes. this is personal. All right, what's first? What's our first swap? So I want you to, and again, let me just say time and a place. I'm not saying throw out all of your sweatpants. But please don't wear your sweatpants out. So sweatpants <laughs> for joggers. Well, listen, we now, in this day and age, do have an appropriate upgrade. It's the jogger. Yes, just like the women have the set, we yeah. have this new performance fabric for men yeah. where it comes in like almost like a chino type. Yeah. It comes in a jogger. It's this stretchy, it's that almost that Lululemon feel. Right. But 
with a little bit more of an easier price tag with this one. And I think these are the new like sweatpants because of how comfortable they are, but still feeling very polished. Oh yeah. So it comes, it gathers at the bottom. It's kind of hard to see. It gathers at the bottom. So it's got a little bit more of a cuff under by your ankle. Uh huh. And the nice thing is you can pair these with almost anything. You can dress them up. Yeah. You can dress them down. It can be, it can be a vest and a t-shirt. It can be a polo. The nice thing is the joggers will feels so much better than your sweatpants. Your wife will love it, you he'll love it. You sacrifice zero comfort. Zero comfort. And you gained at least 50% aesthetic improvement. At least 50%. Okay. From style, from sweatpants to sweatshirts. Let go of your sweatshirt out and about if you can. I think a great sweater is an option. I'm not saying you have to wear your church sweater out. This is a great option because it's that quarter zip, so it's still very, yeah. um, this is nice. Casual. Right. Um, you can wear this golfing. You can wear this to dinner. You can wear this to the soccer game, right? You're getting this usability of the sweatshirt, but amping it up again by just adding a sweater with a quarter zip. Just a little bit more polish. That, yes. that stripe detail across the front adds a level of interest. It's a great option if you are... If you're heavy on the sweatshirts. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just a couple swaps. Just, I mean, yeah. Small swaps. Little things. All right, the t-shirt becomes a polo, but not with a huge heavy collar. Yes, this is kind of the new casual polo. I like this because it doesn't have the big collar. It's kind of like a mock neck. Right. Um, and then it almost looks like a Henley, but you still have this really nice, like, like I would say mini collar, but it's not all up in that thick area. If you do wear a lot of polos right now, Oversized polos, I think, for men can kind of... Uh, I'm not doing any favors. Let's it's just say that. It's, the, it's one of the quickest ways to age maybe a, a wardrobe. Exactly. Okay. Yes. So make sure if you do have polos already, get one that fits a little bit better. Make yeah. sure it's a nice material that's not see-through, that is really um, flattering yeah. and, and form-fitting as far as, you know, polos go. All right. How are we upgrading our shoe game? I want you to just, my husband was really hesitant with this one. Okay. So think about you're, you're leaving your tennis shoes behind for maybe just a date night uh -huh. or something and you're trying a boot. Okay. This doesn't mean you have to wear skinny jeans and a boot <laughs> and, and a necklace. Like this is, I'm not taking you to, to, to your 19 year old yeah, self. To New York Fashion Week or any of the things. Yeah. I just want you to cuff your, cuff your jeans and okay. add a boot. Okay. It's not, it's not as big of a swap as you think. It's an easy way to add a level of sophistication to any outfit without feeling uncomfortable. All right, might take some convincing, might take some trial and error. Give it a go. All right, and last but not least, the tie swap. Tie swap. You know those big, thick ties oh, yes. that your dad wears. I'm not saying you have to go skinny tie. I think skinny tie might even date you a little bit more because they're really trendy. Uh -huh. I'm saying just go with a nice, thin fit tie. More so, narrow. More narrow. So this is nice because it's not super thick. It's not super thin. Honestly, you'll be surprised at how much more flattering a thin tie is versus a really thick tie and a very thin tie. So you're going to go with this medium weight tie and it, it slims you instantly. Okay. I promise. Okay. You may be hesitant again with this one. A nice, thin, double Windsor so knot tie. So we don't tie. want the dad daddy bowl of porridge. Nope. We don't want the baby nope. bowl of porridge. We want the just right in the middle. Right? Leave it to Brooke, guys. Right. No, I'm saying leave it to you. Dial up this episode. Let Dalen be the coach your husband didn't know he needed. I love doesn't it. have to come from me. It can yep. come from beautiful Dalen, who is so gentle in her words and so lovely in her advice. Thank you so much. Thanks, Brooke. A clean out and a swap out for your husband's closet for today's style file.